टुडे वी विल कंटिन्यू विद आवर टॉपिक ऑफ एंड फैक्टर्स इन द रोबोट्स सो आफ्टर द टूल्स वी विल कम टू ग्रिपर्स एज द एंड फैक्टर्स सो अंडर ग्रिपर्स द टाइप्स आर एज मैकेनिकल ग्रिपर्स हुक्स एंड स्कूप्स वैक्यूम ग्रिपर्स एक्सपेंडेबल ब्लेडर टाइप ग्रिपर्स एंड एडहेसिव ग्रिपर्स नाउ वी विल डिस्कस दैम इन डिटेल सो वी कैन थिंक ऑफ ए मैकेनिकल ग्रिपर एज ए रोबोट हैंड सो ग्रिपर लाइक ए हैंड एंड लाइक ए ह्यूमन हैंड सो इट इज सिमिलर टू दैट इन केस ऑफ ए रोबोट सो ए बेसिक रोबोट हैंड विल हैव ओनली टू और थ्री फिंगर्स सो ए मैकेनिकल हैंड दैट रैप्स अराउंड एन ऑब्जेक्ट विल रिलाई ऑन फ्रिक्शन इन ऑर्डर टू सिक्योर द ऑब्जेक्ट इट इज होल्डिंग ओके सो फ्रिक्शन यस बिकॉज इट हैज टू कीप ए होल्ड ऑन द ऑब्जेक्ट Uh, on which the task is to be done. Okay, so friction between the gripper and the object will depend on two things. First of all, the type of surface, whether it be metal, okay, on metal, then rubber on metal, smooth surfaces or rough surfaces. Okay, so this type of uh, material, and then second is the force which is pressing the surfaces together. Okay, then mechanical grippers are often often fitted with some type of pad, usually made from polyurethane, as this provides greater friction. Because in case of a lack of friction, the object will slip, or if the uh, holding, gripping that is not proper, then the object will not be placed at the right place. Okay, now if you consider some assembly line that is moving, and each robotic arm is placing a particular component on a final product. Okay, like it is assembling something, and one type of object has to be placed on one place, and it is not placed properly. Then the whole product is not going to be as per our expectations. It may be faulty. Defective product will be produced. Okay, so gripping should be very strong and so as to ma- maintain the accuracy the desired performance in the or the quality of the final product so mechanical grippers okay usually they are having pads and they are less likely to damage the work piece because the robotic uh, and defectors they are also metallic parts so their gripping their hold may not damage the work piece as well okay there also the pads are Uh, acting will be acting like a cushion so pads are also used so as to have a better grip as polyurethane will make contact with all parts of the surface when the gripper is closed okay so the maximum surface that will be in contact so mechanical grippers can be designed and made for specific purposes and adjusted according to the size of the object so they can also have dual grippers okay so we are all familiar with the saying two hands are better than one okay so something common to that and robots benefit from having dual grippers as they can increase productivity and that is our uh, uh, requirement the productivity that should be increased on using uh, robots okay so be used with machines that have to work two work stations where one robot can load two parts in a single operation that is increasing the production increasing the efficiency so operations in which the size of objects or part change due to the machining process and where the cycle time of the robot is too slow to keep up with the production of other machines so holding of part by mechanical gripper so first one is using the finger pads as like the shape of the work part so here the contact surfaces of the fingers are designed according to the work part for achieving the estimated shape so it will help the fingers to hold the work part for some extent okay next is using soft material finger pads so in this method the fingers must be capable of supplying sufficient force to hold the work part then to avoid scratches on the work part soft type of pads are fabricated on the fingers yes because our hold should be not be like that it is damaging the work piece okay then as a result the contact surface of the finger and coefficient of friction are improved 
so these are the different purposes which we are which are solved by using the pads in the grippers friction is also there wear and tear of the workpiece that is also minimized almost completely eliminated okay so in this method is a very simple and less expensive so another advantage the economical from the economical point of view so it may cause slippage if the force applied against the work part is in parallel direction so to avoid the slippage so we design a gripper based on the force exerted okay so here the expression is there okay first thing mu that is the coefficient of friction between the work parts and fingers nf that is number of fingers contacting fg force on the gripper okay together that is product of these three quantity that is equal to weight of the grasp object okay so from this equation we can determine that how much force is to be applied on which type of object and grasping which type of object so in this equation one must be changed if the weight of the work part is more than the force applied to cause the slippage so here we are using g the gravity factor now coming to the another type of gripper hooks and screw so here in the image we can see hook in the first image scoop in the second image so hook and hooks and scoops are the simplest type of anti factors that can be classed as grippers so a scoop or ladle that is commonly used to scoop up molten metal and transfer it to the mold another thing hook so maybe all that is needed to lift a part specially if precise positioning is not required and if it is not to be dipped into a liquid so okay so hooks are used to load and unload parts hanging from the overhead conveyors okay so some very common type of applications where we can use this hook so the parts can be handled by hook must have some sort of handle eye bolt or ring where the hook can be placed okay so enable the hook to hold it so scoops are used for handling the materials in liquid or powder form the limitation of the scoop is that it is difficult to control the amount of martial being handled by the scoop okay that is not easy how much amount uh, it has to be uh, collected in the scoop so spilling of the material during handling that is also another challenge okay coming to the magnetic gripper here in the figure we can see a magnetic gripper so magnetic grippers work on magnetic objects just yes, that's why the name magnetic gripper so they are limited to metals okay so certain metals which can be lifted up by using the force of magnetism so their magnetic gripper can be used for maximum effect the magnet needs to have complete contact with the surface of the metal to be gripped any air gaps will reduce the strength of the magnetic force therefore flat sheets of metals are best suited to magnetic grippers so yes come very common example uh, application that is in the flat sheets metallic basically okay if the magnet is strong enough a magnetic gripper can pick up an irregular shaped object okay so in some cases the shape of the magnet matches the shape of the object now coming to the disadvantage of this type of gripper that is the temperature okay so when heating the permanent magnet that starts demagnetizing okay so there is a danger that prolonged contact with hot work piece will weaken them to the point where they can no longer be used okay, because magnetism that is decreasing so the its use will not be or the use that is not uh, applicable now simple metal it is not magnet then we cannot use it so the effect of heat will depend on the time the magnet spends in contact with the hot part so most magnetic materials are relatively unaffected by temperatures up to around 100 degrees means up to 100 degrees 
very satisfactorily we can use magnetic grippers so electromagnets can be used instead of permanent magnets okay and are operated by dc electric current and lose nearly all of their magnetism when the power is turned off means it is as per our requirement as per our desire we can make this gripper magnetic or we can magnetize it and as for a requirement we can demagnetize it so permanent magnets are also used in situation where there is an explosive atmosphere and sparks from electrical equipment could cause a hazard okay in that case we will discourage electromagnets so we there will be use permanent magnets next one is suction grippers so here in the figure we can see suction grippers so two type of suction grippers first one operated by vacuum okay so for this we need vacuum pump okay we need compressed air so that the suction can be done so next next one flexible suction cup okay so this cup presses on the workpiece then air is blown out into the suction cup okay so advantage of the suction cup is that if there is a power failure it will still work as all the workpiece will not fall down now disadvantage is that they can only work on clean or smooth surfaces in the case of dirty surface the grip won't be there so there are many more advantages for using a suction cup rather than a mechanical grip okay so advantages are like there is no danger of crushing fragile objects the exact shape and size does not matter and the suction cup does not have to be precisely positioned on the object the downfall of suction cups as an end effector include the robot system must include a form of pulp a pump for air and the level of noise can cause annoyance in some circumstances okay usually noise actually it is from the a compressor because in this type of uh, robot for creating compressed air we need a compressor and they, they are making a huge noise so that could be discomforting next is expandable bladder type grippers here in the diagram we can see so the bottle that is to be lifted up so initially the bladder okay that is the flat so it can easily enter after that it is expanded now it has make a good hold okay like in the two diagrams we can see a d okay d that is the a flattened diameter of this uh, gripper and in the next figure d1 okay that is about 40% more so now it is expanded so it has made a grip on the bottle from the inside like okay, i so said bladder gripper or bladder hand is specialized robotic end effector that can be used to grasp pick up and move rod shaped or cylindrical objects okay so the application here in case of rod shaped cylindrical objects the main element of the gripper is inflatable donut shaped or cylindrical sleeve that resembles the cuff commonly used in blood pressure measuring apparatus okay so i think everyone would be familiar with that okay the sleeve is positioned so it surrounds the object to be gripped and then the sleeve is inflated until it is tight enough to accomplish the desired task means it can lift that object so that much tighten it should be so the pressure exerted by the slip can be measured and regulated using four sensors next bladder grippers are useful in handling fragile objects however they do not operate fast and they can function only with objects with a rather narrow range of physical sizes so some of the limitations are also there over wide range we cannot use them now coming to the last one that is adhesive strippers uh, grippers The adhesive substances can be used for grasping action in adhesive gripper. Okay, so some type of adhesive substance that has to be used here, so that can stick to the workpiece. So in adhesive grippers, the adhesive substance loses its stickiness due to repeated usage. Yes, we can see simple glue, stick it, then unstick, then again stick. So its strength, adhesiveness that will reduce. So the repeatability of the gripper that is reduced. okay so overcome so as to overcome this difficulty the adhesive material is continuously fed to the gripper in the form of ribbon by feeding mechanism so continuously you have to feed the adhesive material so a major asset of the adhesive gripper is the fact that it is 
simple okay so that is also our requirement more complicated system that is also we try to avoid unless it is not needed no it is not mandatory rather so as long as the adhesive keep its thickness it will stickness it will continue to function without maintenance so however there are certain limitation the most significant limit and limitation is the fact that the adhesive cannot readily be disabled in order to release the grasp of an object is yes, something we can compare with the electromagnet yes very electromagnet as per our requirement as per our desire we can demagnetize it but in case of gripper adhesive gripper that thing is not available adhesiveness will not be immediately as per our will it cannot be removed so by some other means such as the devices that lock the grip object into place must be used okay so a diagram i can show you here so the pen that is a pen and the glass here they are being handled by the adhesive grippers okay so adhesive grippers are used for handling fabrics and other lightweight materials okay so i think i should stop here